Per activity. Both. So this is, but remember I showed you a case where the patient was normal and she was sticking her scapula completely out. So I'm still not sure if this is functional or structural. Okay? okay? okay. So we're going to examine the normal shoulder and then we'll go up. So structurally, in general, this is sticking out, this is not. Alignment looks okay. Slight excessive anterior tilt of the scapula on both sides. Can I see quickly? So alignment in the front, nothing major. I don't see anything major drooping or anything like abnormal. Okay, again? Yeah, we. So the first thing, uh, we're gonna examine the normal shoulder. Let's go for the Very nice, very beautiful scapular motion. Okay, again. But look, this is sticking out. So that's important, okay? Hold on. This one, see, this one's taking out, so she's really struggling with it down. So before we examine, we focus on serratus, let's examine the trapezius. <coughs> so beautiful trapezius, upper, and your back. So the trapezius is great. Okay, now we're gonna do the exam for the serratus specifically. Normal shoulder, again, up. So the SFRT, SFRT is three, three. Is that usually 30, 60, 100. The most important is 30 and the 100. And with the 30, the most important patient should not engage the shoulder. You have to let them relax completely. You get to the 30, okay, here. You see, we push. Very nice scapula. So this for me, up and down, this is normal. Relax, relax. And I put the shoulder all the way here. Push, push it. Off it. And one more thing, like now some patient, they can trick it. So the same exam, push up. It's beautiful here. Okay, now. Now we're gonna do the same. <coughs> now, I don't want her to engage because if she engages the scapula, like, see, she, her back manner is hyperactive for sure. I cannot tell <coughs> her to relax. Relax, relax. See, like, I know, I know, sorry. <laughs> but see what's happening. I'm trying to get, see, the minute I'm mo moving, up, look. I'm, she's not supposed because the scapula should not move if I'm moving the arm. If, the, if it's, this is like, if, if uh, this, there's a paralysis, it should not stick out. Her back mother is definitely hyperactive. Relax. 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 Okay, mental. So it's sticking out. The most important is sticking out all the way from proximal to distal. Okay, the problem with this one. Relax, relax. Relax. So this is the exam, like now she's relaxed, really. Hold it here, up. Okay, it's holding it, it's not too bad. Push against my hand, push it. It's going. One more thing to make sure, sometime if you do this, she can use other muscle to hold the shoulder in place. Keep it here, you see? But no, no, just relax, relax. Okay, okay. now it's okay, hold it, it's not too bad. This is the one for me. If she's gonna push, she's gonna stick out. This is definitely serratus. We see. You can see the whole medial scapula is in. Now, one more thing. Uh, sorry. This, this one. Okay. Uh, so the, the protraction against resistance. Look what she's doing. She's already doing this. This is a combination of pec minor, pec major, and serratus. Now, if she is in this position, she can hold it and she can trick me. So the key is the start of the motion, you should block them. So I'm gonna block her from the very beginning. Push. She, she's really pushing very hard. This is excellent. With me, Serratus is working. Now we're gonna do the same here. Okay. She's gonna stick out now. Push. Block. Okay, so she's kept sticking out big time. That is definitely serratus paralysis. Now, let me let me Okay, so how, how can you know for sure? We're gonna mimic the serratus. What did the serratus do? The serratus keep the scapula on the check wall and protract, see? The spec minor hyperactivity. You see how she's dancing a little bit? Okay, no, no, relax. This is my hand, relax. We're gonna hold it and push it slightly on the chest wall. That's the serratus. All the way. And down. Okay. Parfait. 
That's the set out to paralysis. <laughs> <laughs> Your finger here. My finger? Yeah, here. Don't, don't move. Leave here. Now, now, now. Do it. Now, relax. Now. Now, now, leave here. Okay. Up. Go back. You go back. Straight and go up. Up, 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 up. Okay. To 15 degree more. So it means that if we do a very good rehabilitation with core stability and scaffold energy reinforce, probably she could improve. This is. Yeah. Up. Okay. Yeah. And as you say, I'm working as serratus anterior. So the first attempt is to do a very good rehabilitation. The key point F is to have good physio that know this pathology very well. That is very important. How many years? It's been like this uh, seven years. Seven years. How long have you so almost five years. So one more thing. No, huh? 2017. Huh? Okay. Uh, Seven years. When when she tried to flex, the body does not know when the serratus is paralyzed. So this hyperactivity of the pec minor is reactive. If you notice right now, every even she tried to move, she does this. This is her pec minor hyperactivity. Now, if we do simply pec minor release, she's gonna be better, but she will not improve more than 10, 10, 20 degrees. For the treatment, for this one, if you wanna talk about the treatment, she's a perfect indication for pec transfer for, for serratus paralysis. And I, I, we ask usually this question, most important, the patient they don't have implant, because if you do it, it's a disaster, because you're gonna push the implant out when you push this, the pec transfer. No, but this is important. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. the test to do the differentiation. Okay, so my apology. When we talk about, we said functional, structural. Her problem is structural, period. He talked about the same, the same functional shoulder and non-functional shoulder. This functional or structural. Structural, it means either bone or muscle or both are affected. Her muscle is affected, so this is a structural problem, number one. With time, because of this, she cannot lift her arm. Like up till now, her lifting is 90 degrees. What's happening, in her brain she's trying, but what's happening, the pec minor is over-activating as a compensation, which is a wrong compensation mechanism. So the pec minor in her case is not a functional structure, function, it's reactive. So I don't even have to release her pec minor, I just do pec major transfer for her. This is very uncommon case for me. I'm sorry it was missed. I saw her outside, and you can ask the fellow, I did not, I did not even know a, a, a AMG was done or at all. After I saw her, I was like, yeah, this is ratus paralysis. This is a great case. I'm, they don't come this way. I did not know, even know. I wish the AMG was not shown this way. I can, we can trick some of you. But anyway, this is a structural problem, complete serratus paralysis with a reactive over hyperactive pectoralis minor. The treatment is spec major transfer. This is the most reliable outcome for this kind of patient. Uh, in, in my experience and in the experience in, in the literature, <coughs> the uh, transfer is uh, sometimes uh, elongating and you're, with time you're losing the benefit of the transfer. And, because, uh, the, yeah, Pascal. The, the, alternative, the alternative is uh, arthritis. It's diffusion, yeah. yeah. But uh, in her case, her trap is beautiful. She did excellent with scapula compression tests. She has a great pact. And I really think the stretching you talk about because sometimes the diagnosis is incorrect. You said it, like this patient has been running around for seven years. Sometimes the people say, the scapula is sticking out, let's do pact. If it's dynamic, it's functional, you do pact, the transfer is gonna stretch. I have undone pact transfer for the wrong indication. I really think she's gonna do well with pact transfer. I don't think she is an indication for ST fusion. In my, but she will do well with ST fusion. And if she would have uh, uh, implants? If she will have implants, there's the ST fusion will be one option, and there's another option. We can transfer the teres major, in fact. The teres major, because at the tip of the scapula, you can detach the, the insertion part and put it on the chest. It will act like serratus. But it will be a good indication then for ST fusion. Okay. I know now. Oh, completely. She can go.
She can, she can, she can talk. But if you bring her, I uh, passively. Relax, 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 okay? Wait a second, see what's gonna happen. She's gonna drop. Passively. I, I know, I know. Wait a second. Wait, relax, relax. Okay, relax, relax, relax. 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 Yes, relax. She maintained comp. Ah. Yeah. She <laughs> She will not, there's no way. She's tied. After <laughs> <laughs>